My name is Danny Borges and I go to John Marshall Law School. I'm a third year. This is my last semester. Um, I was uh, born and raised in Lebanon. I uh, moved here when I, at the age of nine in 1997. I um, decided to go into law because I was interested in helping people and I figured that's the field that I can do the most change, I can impact people's lives and that was really important to me. Uh, Danny works at the help desk for the Mortgage Foreclosure Mediation Program at the Daily Center. Uh, he started working with clients on the 28th floor, but uh, after Danny had been with the program for quite a while and his, his skills developed, he did eventually move to the Chancery Advice Desk on 13 with Brandon Williams where he can provide deeper consultations to clients in foreclosure. Danny was always uh, energetic and ready to work as far as when I was uh, seeing him do the consultations he uh, was very attentive to the clients and we deal with a lot of different personalities where people are already on edge because they're trying to they think they're gonna lose their home or something of that nature so he was able to handle them in a professional manner and, and deal with people and, and, and make them calm and understanding as how this process works and that, that there's help for them. One time a a lady who was pregnant came in with a child, a young child, and she said to me, I just received this notice. It was posted by the sheriff's deputy on my door. I did, did not even know that I was in foreclosure. What do I do? They're looking to evict me within seven days. She happened to be, I believe, a tenant, and so she wasn't even the owner. She was living in a property that was being foreclosed on. So all of a sudden, she found herself in a position where she might be evicted. Thankfully, we were able to tell her that tenants in Illinois have special rights in foreclosure. So we were able to alleviate some of those concerns and she walked out feeling much better, but that definitely stuck with me. Working with Danny is wonderful. He is just so enthusiastic and pleasant. He has a really nice, warm personality. We think that makes him a really good volunteer to work with homeowners in this scary foreclosure process and he's also incredibly bright. I'm sure it was a great burden on him but he took the time out to volunteer and and, and assist people who, who really need the help so I think he's definitely deserving of the award. Um, he did like I said most students only do maybe a semester he did I think almost three and so uh, he was there faithfully at least once a week um, to volunteer his time to help the litigants out in the foreclosure process. I think to me personally the, the most valuable aspect of this experience was dealing with normal everyday people. That's something that law school doesn't generally help you with. You don't get that experience until you meet with people every day and talk to them personally about their problems and try to figure out how it is that you can help them. And that's been, you know, priceless for me. <laughs> My name is Michael Tugin. I'm a student here at the John Marshall Law School. I'm finishing up my third semester here and I will be graduating in May of this year. In the, I believe it was the summer of uh, last year, I applied to participate in the mortgage foreclosure program, mediation program here in Cook County because it just seemed like an ideal opportunity to serve the Cook County community and obtain practical hands-on experience about an area of law that I was not too familiar with. Uh, Michael has worked for, with us in two capacities as a volunteer. He was a summer intern uh, and he assisted us with our post-mediation status call preparation and he appeared in court uh, to help us represent uh, CVLS and the borrowers. And then in fall of 2011 he took on two mediation cases through CVLS. Uh, and worked to represent borrowers to help them try to work out some resolution uh, through the Cook County Foreclosure Mediation Program. Uh, the group that we did that with that Michael participated in, that was actually a pilot program that we launched with CVLS and Michael's contributions uh, really helped make the pilot program for that go very smoothly as well, but he just did such a wonderful job working with the clients and such an impressive commitment to the program. My family immigrated here back in, I believe, 1994. I'm originally from Nigeria. I went to, of course, school here. I went to University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. At UIUC, 
I initially majored in the biological sciences. I decided to switch my major to political science as I realized that my skills were much more geared towards the practice of law. And I decided that I was going to go into law school after finishing my major at UIUC. Michael is going to be such a wonderful, wonderful attorney. Uh, he does extremely well working with the clients and also preparing the legal issues for mediation and we are confident that he will be successful in whatever he chooses to do. The, the, the confidence he gained in doing this, uh, doing these voluntary activities was, was evident. He really learned and gained a lot of experience from doing these voluntary opportunities, which I think is the whole point of being a volunteer. And I think that going forward, he's going to have uh, an excellent career in working with uh, the less advantaged uh, people out there who are in need of legal advice because of this experience, and I think he's going to go do a great job at it. Students being able to volunteer for a pro bono experience in law school should be an essential part of the law school experience. The student will be, or at least I, got a very rewarding experience out of it. Because as I said, I was able to assist and help these people. And the practice of law really fundamentally has always been helping people. It's always been service to the client. It is a profession of service. It is a profession dedicated to the public service. So for students, for law students, early on in their career, to have an opportunity to do pro bono work is a very good thing.